Okay. What do you think it'd be like if the centaur was the other half horse? A motor. <laughs> it'd be a motor. E equ equator. You need you need to watch more TV. Clearly, you need to watch. More I know. TV. What I'm, just, I'm just trying to. I feel like that's something on a porn channel, like porn I fantasies. Say, I, 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 my I mind, don't understand your point. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's Saturday night. We're live, and you can tell what it is. It is campaign night. Oh, Welcome no. aboard. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. I'm not wearing our shit, but uh, our very classy stuff is down below with a few new additions there. Uh, there's one, but that's the one Carol did say. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I've ordered a couple more things. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, we also have a Discord channel courtesy of Blake and Carol. Let's take a look at that. It's uh, tinyurl.com slash mhobo inc discord. No spaces. Uh, folks, tonight we are doing the campaign. This is our 90th episode. Holy 90 God. episodes we've been doing this shit. 90. Wait, uh, campaign or one shots? Are you oh, combining? Oh. Well, that sucks. Come on, Frank. Just, just game. This is, I think, 29. 29 on the campaign. Uh, folks, if you want to have a seat uh, during one of our talk shows, one of our one shots, one of our boredom busters, go ahead and hit us up at mhobo inc on Twitter or Gmail and let us know. Uh, we love to entertain new players. Uh, with that being said, tomorrow night, Carol is running a one shot. Uh, she sits in the big chair. She is going to uh, wrangle Heidi, Scott, Blake, and Kyle in what is going to be a prisoner exchange uh, sure. scenario. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if the producer gets the night off because I'm <clears throat> notorious for fucking up the audio. That being said, let's move on with who, who be day. Uh, who be day? Chris. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, my name is Chris. I am playing Miniz, a Aarakocra cleric who currently has wings that function. How long yeah. that'll last, we will see. Currently. <laughs> uh, next up, Lucas. Uh, Ernest, tell us a little bit about yourself and your character. Yeah, so my name's Ernest. I'm playing the character Lucas, the uh, wood elf anti-druid. And uh, my goal, as always, is to stay alive as long as possible. Hey, uh, how is uh, living by the bay? Uh, it doesn't, I don't know. I'm not there anymore. I'm now in uh, Ohio. I He's moved away from that horrible, horrible city. <laughs> hey, but now you're on the right time zone. So, you know, that's a plus. Oh, it was nicer when this was at five o'clock. I can imagine so. Uh, Blake, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? I'm back to being Perpetua. I'm just a little halfling girl and I shoot poison out of my sniz. <laughs> Going uh, back to the roots there. Yep. That's right. Kyle, Kyle's next. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am. Oh, I forgot to change the name there. I'm playing Dewey Dacamel, the Lie Barbarian. I haven't stuttered in a while because because Dewey's bigger than that now. Green name. That's it. Do do do. <laughs> Uh, last but not least, our newest, although she's been here long enough, uh, Carol. Carol, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, everyone. As you said, I'm Carol. Uh, I'm a mini painter, longtime gamer, and I will be a GM tomorrow. Bet, 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 bet. You'll be trying. <laughs> you, let, you didn't let me finish. I was going to say, hey, look, I already, I already get that talking of Carol if it's on your bingo card right there. Um, no, uh, hopefully it will go well. I have it all written up and I'm all ready to roll. So, and I think everyone's excited because they were talking about it, uh, before in green room tonight. So, and Heidi was talking to me about it, uh, earlier tonight with my game. So, but who am I playing? Now, of course, I'm playing Taryn, my <clears throat> wood elf, uh, my wood elf bard. Who likes to talk her way out of things? Although I don't think she's going to be talking her way out of the situation we're in now. Well said. That brings us to tonight's episode. As you may or may not remember from two weeks ago, these guys had been fractured for several play sessions, but managed to go ahead and get back together. They put the band back together, and they are all standing near Battle Keep, where Lucas and Maniz each had books. 
telling them, hey, go to Battle Keep. There's part of an uh, artifact there. You should really go. Now, as some of you may remember, uh, Dewey and Lucas have already been to Battle Keep, and they tried to face off with the phase fighters. So we'll see if a bolstered party will have any better luck than they did tonight. Group, uh, you have all met Manise, who was hiding in the bushes, probably doing something he shouldn't, uh, girding his loins, protecting his wings, whatever. Uh, and just a short distance away stands the imposing figure of the haunted battle keep. What would you like to do tonight? <clears throat> Not all at once. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll go. I'll go ahead and. Uh... Unbeknownst to everyone else, I'm going to go ahead and right off the bat, I'm going to burn a sorcery point and I'm going to channel my green dragon ancestors and now I'll do bonus damage with poison and I'm resistant to it for an hour. Very cool. That's so I think we should camp here for about an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> an hour or two hours is really going to do it. I'd say 58 minutes should be fine. <laughs> All right. No, uh, kidding, kidding aside, um, I informed the rest of the group about the um, the rod and all the pieces and what our objective is here at the keep. And the spiders? Oh, yeah, I let them we know leave the those spiders. out. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the bard. It, there does seem to be some spiders that teleport around a little bit, um, but it doesn't seem they can teleport off the premises. Well, that's good in case we have to retreat again. I hope not. I hope not either. Let's send in the bird. Yeah. Can you scout out for us, uh, Maniz? Yeah, sure. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, Maniz is up in the air. Uh, we got 72 degrees here, and uh, traffic is very light because everybody is in isolation. Uh, Maniz, uh, you fly up. Give me a perception check right off the bat. Uh... 18. Uh, that portcullis is fractured. <coughs> yeah, the portcullis is fractured. Oh, you're Probably up in the air. You, you're going to have to yell to him. Wait. Or just take on. note. Don't tell us when you I'll, 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 I'll message him. What do you see? The portcullis is fractured. Thank you. You're supposed to do this. Come on. <laughs> uh, Too busy flapping my wings. Maniz, as you soar up and over the two uh, bastions that make up the front of the keep, uh, you notice uh, a lot of dead shit in the courtyard. Okay. Uh, dead, would I notice? It's if, the gold island. Like, was there like an attack or is it more like the plague? Looks like a battle. Looks like a battle. Okay. Uh, as you go, are, up, you, are, you, are you relaying this as you're going? He's never yeah, I mean, if the message is still open, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm basically just having a conversation with you. Like he is narrating you... it in the voice of Morgan Freeman. Can you, or better yet, Samuel L. Jackson? I got some motherfucking dead things. And <laughs> motherfucking Andy Morgan. Dufresne crawled through three miles of the finest <laughs> dead shit. <laughs> Hey, Perpetua, can you ask him, as long as you're relaying this to us, yeah. uh, can you ask him if it looks like a recent battle? That's, that, was, that was my question. I wanted to know if there was any fresh blood. From this, how high are you flying? Oh, not, not too, too high. Maybe like 20-ish feet the above the... 30 feet. So 50 feet, I guess, off the ground? You will not be able to tell if there's fresh blood or not. The portcullis was solid the last time we were here, right? Okay. Correct. And were uh, there dead things? There <clears> were, <throat> right? Well, yeah, we killed them. Some of them. So, uh, Maniz, as you go up and over the main two towers, uh, there is a smaller tower inside. There's a small tower in the middle. Uh, there's an open courtyard to your right with two corner uh, buttresses. And then in the back, there's an other, another uh, tower the same size as the ones on the far right. All right, I relay said information. I'll um, make my way back to the group. Uh, Maniz is uh, okay. He's coming back over the ramparts. While you're doing that, I'm I'm passing along. 
Does any of that sound unusual to you guys since you've been here before? Yes. 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 <laughs> like all of it, right? Uh, there wasn't dead things that we remember uh, the last time we were here. Uh, yeah. There were there were just yeah, spiders, you, you and then the portcullis was solid. Hey, so what sort of dead things? You probably should ask him that. Yeah, too. That, that's kind of what I. Too yeah. high, can't tell. Oh, you, you not humanoid. You would see the large things. spiders though. Okay. Okay. Some big dead spiders. Okay, then that would be the stuff you probably killed. Hawkman lands in front of the Hall of Justice and meets back up with you guys. He again relays what he's already told uh, Perpetua, and Perpetua's already told you guys. Uh, well, Maniz, the only entrance you saw that was feasible is the Port Callis area, unless everybody wants to climb over a wall somewhere. <clears throat> I can dimension doors if anyone's having a problem with that. Are you calling us fat? I mean, I'm not no, great. No, no, I'm calling you unagile. I, I didn't know if you wanted to be a bear when we went in. <clears throat> oh, that might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad idea at all. Um, okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to use my wild shapes. I can use it as a bonus action, so. Okay. So, uh, let's go through the crack porticolis. Um, ladies first. I look at Taryn. <laughs> not really a good choice to lead through into combat. Hero, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go first. I'll bravely go first. Leave, send the little girl into battle. Fine, I'll go. I'll go. I'll be right behind you. In fact, you know what? Because you're being so brave, I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a point of inspiration. You've inspired me. So here, I go, Robin. go up and take care of these spiders. I'm going to I'm going to go, waste the inspiration point collecting spider legs with my animal handling check. <laughs> one, 1d8. Okay. Okay. So, who's going through the port call us? I'll I'll go first. I'll go yeah. and I guess since it was I'll late. go third. I'll I'll go in last cuz, you know. <laughs> I'm squishy. Better. I don't need to get hit by anything. He'll stick next to me. It'll be fine. Uh -huh. I feel like I should be the perhaps one. Not <clears throat> okay. Uh, as you go in, uh, give me an investigation check. All of us or one of us? Uh, I'll go with uh, <clears throat> Perpetual and Terrence since you guys are leading the pack. Okay. Uh, 17. Uh, oh, that's good. Investigation, that is 19. Uh, both of you notice that there are humanoids present uh, in the form of gnolls, very large dog people, as well as some spiders. There's also a gray creature in there. And, and by wings. people, and, and you mean amongst the corpses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're not. They're not like waiting in ambush. No, they're dead. Okay. Okay. So we see. Uh, you can see the blood. It's probably two days, three days old, maybe. Uh, let, let me let me let, let me go get a get a taste of it and see if I can't get a more specific. You can do that. What was that about a gray creature or something? A uh, gray creature with uh, torn wings. And that's dead too, I assume, right? It certainly appears so. What poke kind it of with a stick. You can go over and poke it. No, but I I'm gonna harvest the wings. <laughs> Knowledge check? Is there some sort of a check I can make to know what the hell that is? Uh, Arcana. I'll I join in if that's applicable. Sure. Uh, also, everybody check your email. Okay. okay. I an email. I hate email. Oh, he sent us a map. No. We have a map? Oh, no. Shit. I had, I had an M20, Frank. Uh, it, it appears to be a gargoyle, the creature of legend. Oh, wow. So there's a dead gargoyle. Gosh, how did is you it, do it? No, is, is it dead? I'm, 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 I'm dead. everybody rolling this shit. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. probably not dead. I didn't get that close to it. I just made it our can of shit. No, I was, I was getting ready to cut its wings. Nat 20. That's yes, right, you were. Uh, 20 modified. 15. 
Dewey? Uh, 17. Nat 20, you go first. Uh, the red zone is where you guys are currently at. That is where most of the bodies appear to be. It appears to be a pitched battle of some kind. Uh, Perpetua is wandering over towards the stonish gray creature uh, with tattered wings. So, Lucas, what do you want to do first? Um, is anything attacking us? Is there anything moving towards us? I look around. Not that you can see. Oh, cool. Um, can can you describe you know what this courtyard looks like a little bit? Uh, as you enter in through the fractured portcullis. Uh, a quick look behind you sees the entrance to both of the bastion towers. Uh, to the left, uh, there appears to be some kind of shorter square tower directly ahead of you in the battle scene where you and Dewey witness the emergence of the phase spiders is present. Uh, to your northwest is an open courtyard. Uh, the whole area is overgrown, so if there is anything hiding, or dead bodies, or weapons, or something of interest, they'll be hidden by the grass. To the right, there is a slight earthen ramp that goes up to a higher courtyard. Cool. I want to go deeper into the keep, probably where those spiders came from. So straight in the single tower. Yeah, why not? Okay, next up is the unnatural 20, the knees. Hmm. I'm just going to hang back and uh, kind of keep guard and wait to see what's going to happen. Jimmy, I'm, not go I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> Dewey, you're up. Uh, gargoyle came to life? No. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Not yet. I mean, uh, Perpetual hasn't tried to clip its wings. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I clip wings. Thank you very much. You gotta no, you, go. Clip you clip my knees. Um, I'd set it off. Seeing as I have a tinker hammer and a chisel as a weapon, if any of these dead gnolls have anything else that might be a little bit more fighty like, I'm gonna try and search for something a little bit fair enough. More petrol. Uh, so I, I want a ruling on this. <clears throat> you describe this area as overgrown with life. Can I blight? the courtyard and remove that would you it's it's my it's my, it's my it's my one fourth level spell what's your area of effect it doesn't have one it says a creature so i wanted to get a ruling on that uh i'll give you something akin to the red circle because that's like uh 40 feet diameter okay i i'll hold on to that for the moment but okay. i might i might be using that in a if if, it, if we're going to be exploring somewhere yeah, I, I'd say there would have to be. I mean, otherwise you could just blight the whole world. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's always there's fire. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. that's true. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't, yeah. So but then we'd, we would also burn up whatever's in there. Blight will just kill off the, the living stuff. So you want to clip the wings? Oh, fuck yes. Okay. Uh, last but not least is Taryn. Taryn, what would you like to do? Oh, uh, God. So he's going to clip the wings? That's what he's doing. And that's I a mean, dirty, funny animal handling. I mean, with my with my my good check, I could not tell whether or not it's alive or dead, right? Correct. Uh, but he has already started carving on it, and it does not appear to be moving. All right. Um, then I don't know. I guess I'll I'll search the pockets of things in here. See, search, search around, see if I can. Oh, anything good? <laughs> If they have anything good? Uh, Perpetua, you go ahead and clip tattered wings, so they aren't going to be much good to you. Maniz, Taryn, Dewey, uh, both of you roll 2d20s and add them together. 2d20s and add them together. As you guys loot the bodies. Uh, 15. 27. That was a lot better. 39. So that's how much gold you guys get, but... Uh, Lucas comes running out of the tower. <laughs> Cleric, I need you up front. There's undead. Ah, uh, brains. Get him! Everybody, Brian's. perception check. I want Brian's. It's brains, you idiot. 
I'm busy looking Seven. at the team goal. Reception. Like... Modify 20. 28. Um, and these, Lucas and Perpetua, these ain't your normal zombies. These are no zombies. We'll go with the original uh, initiative roll. Lucas, you come running out yelling, Cleric, Cleric, I need you up here. There's zombies. What would you like to do next? Uh, how far away are the zombies behind me? Uh, they are not moving as slow as normal zombies, but they're kind of plodding along. So how? what's the distance between me and them, roughly? Uh, maybe 10 feet. As you come running out, the first zombie or two will be in the sunlight. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, well, then when I... So am they I back with the group right now? They are not melee range. Yeah, you're out with the group. They are not. They are not in a position to hit you at this time. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I, I'm going to um, stop and and throw fire at the first one. Okay. Um, and that is a 14 to hit. Okay. Oh, easily. Easily. Okay. And then that is two d8. Give me one moment. Six fire damage. Not so hot. Not so hot. Next up, unnatural 20. Manise. Um, How many are are there coming? Uh, you cannot tell. There's at least three plowing through the opening. One of them is on fire. Fire. Uh, boy. Zombies on fire. I will channel <laughs> divinity and use destroy undead. Okay. What's range? Uh, there is no range. It's, 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 touch? Li it's line of sight for the zombies. Okay. <clears throat> so, starting by the law, when an undead fails its saving throw against your turn undead feature, the creature is instantly destroyed if its challenge rating is below whatever the threshold is. In this case, it's one half CR. These are one quarters. Uh, so my thingamabobby is 13 is my DC. And what's the modifier? Never mind. Uh, 3, 4, and 18. So, so the two fail. The fire one is dead. The one behind it is dead. Uh, the others are not dead. Uh, Dewey, Dakamal, you finish looting through the pockets of the nose just as Lucas has come running out screaming, Holy shit, there's fucking zombies! Uh, I was looking for weapons. Was there anything useful among them? No. Wait, do you need a broken weapon? Broken weapons. All broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. did, 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 did you take the axe out of the merchant or the messenger? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what oh, kind I of axe was it? Nice. <laughs> That's still the question. What kind of axe was this? Is it a great axe? Is it a battle axe? Oh, it's a battle axe. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I, you, guys, you guys are like, Messenger, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Oh, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy yeah, who has yet yeah, been scared. Okay, I will, I guess, take the battle axe. And chop at the knoll. Okay. You'll have to use uh, most of your movement to do so. Hey, David's on Twitch. He says body spray. That's the type of axe it is. Uh, nice. it's, it's about to have an axe wound. <laughs> wow. Tell David he's not winning uh, bingo. <laughs> I'm sure he just heard you. He's on. Uh, so um, give, give it a shot. A natural 20 and a uh, 11. Yeah, doesn't hit. Both 11 hit. doesn't hit? Oh, yeah, okay. they both hit. All right. Battle Axe is a D8 these days, right? And we were doubling, right? Or were we rolling we're a D20 We're doubling afterwards? the damage dice, not the modifiers. All right. Good. 11 for uh, 15 on the first one. And that is... 12 on the second one. Same creature, right? Same creature. Uh, it I, is, there's only three, right? Or there were three. There there's were three, line. but there were still four now. Oh, okay. uh, okay. th that one is dead. You have uh, slashed <laughs> it across the chest and buried your battle axe into its skull. Uh, next up is, uh, I believe, Perpetual. 
Okay, and there aren't any more visible? Oh yeah, they're coming out. Oh, okay. Like somebody so opened I'm a faucet. To, uh, uh, do, 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 do. Poison squirt, the one that's trying to bypass Dewey. Okay. So I need a con, and that's con 16. Not even close. Okay, he takes 2d12 plus 5. Eight and eight to fifteen. Okay, and perpetual. And you're right because I'm going to quicken it and do that again. Yay! Okay. So another con. Oh. Uh, that one's an eighteen. Oh, so no, so nothing, nothing. Okay. Uh, Taryn. Um, this is zombies. I think. I think there's going to be worse as we go in. Um, I don't want to blow my spell load right now, so I'm just going to. You don't want to blow your load. Carol's not blowing her load tonight. Is that a bingo? (laughs) You know what? That's not the first time. My my little gaming group, we have used that multiple times. Hey, 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 we don't give a shit about your personal gaming group. This is us. All right, so I am going to... You do that my... shit tomorrow when you're in charge. <laughs> oh, that was a lousy fit. Does 15 hit them? Oh, yeah. Okay, they're, cool. They're zombies. They're easy to hit. Good. Uh, where's my D- a D8? Uh, that's a great... Uh, seven points of damage. Pew! Uh, on the one for you, or are you going after Blake's? There's one on me? Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna go after the one that's like going. I would take a step back to. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't meleeing. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I I've got. So I'm just shooting. I'll shoot the one that's closest to me. Two on Taryn. And one on Dewey. So I've got uh, Perpetuas. Uh, no, unless a 10 magically fucking hits me. Uh, Taryn, does a seven hit you? No. How about a 17? Oh, well, you, well, you, well, you, you'll have to remind me, Frank, what's the AC of a child? <laughs> uh, if you're using a kick, it's instant. <laughs> Beat me by one, so yeah, you can do it. And do it. Uh, Another seven. Jesus Christ. Uh, Okay, so Taryn takes a punch to the face for four damage. Okay. And we are at the top of the order with Lucas. Lucas, Uh, there is one on Blake, or on Perpetua, two on Taryn, and one on Dewey. Two on me? Dice give up and the dice take it away. Oh uh, man, I want to go to the nearest village and kick children. Um, no, but seriously, I'm going. Where to is kick... that village? It's yeah. good for the soul. <laughs> it is. It's cathartic. I, I hear um, it's in Dayton. <laughs> perfect. Uh, no, I am going to uh, throw more fire and hopefully do better damage this time. Perpetua, Terran, Terran, or Dewey? Uh, I'm going to help out Dewey. Okay. And that was a 10 to hit. No. Damn it. Uh, and as a bonus action, I turn into a giant elk. Uh, you know what? D12 against me. Not because of the elk for something else. Okay. 12. Well, fuck. Uh, what do I got? 10. It, grounds are on fire. Uh, dirty 20, my knees, you're up. <laughs> grounds on fire? Yeah. You missed. Oh, nice. All right. Because you were so, throwing regular fire, not sacred flame, right? I was I was throwing some magical, yeah, regular flame, yeah. Okay, Manise, you're up. Uh, there, there's smoke. Do I see the one that's on fire? The oh, ground no. is he on fire. It. The ground's on fire. <laughs> oh, the ground is on fire. Okay. Um, you, don't I will... no, you don't need no water. Let that motherfucker burn. Yeah. Uh, I'm still behind everyone. Oh, yeah. Close. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do I mean, away? Well, I want to take a shot at the one that's alive, or is he dead now? There's four. Uh, there's oh. four. there's Perpetua, two on Terran, one on Dewey. Do I see any of them? 
Oh yeah, they're all out in the courtyard. Okay, I will shoot at the one that is closest to me with my crossbow. Uh, just, that is the one on Perpetual. Just, just okay. to clarify, he didn't say it, but they took their turn to move to us. Is 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 what's happened? Because yeah. yes, they are they are in melee range. Okay, yeah, but I'll still take. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm further back. I should be all right. Yeah, I think it's what twenty feet. You. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I will take a shot with the crossbow. Actually, turns out it's a nat twenty. So I will reroll that again. Oh. oh, oh. Well, now we and just do the uh, damage dice now. What do you we mean? roll the damage dice twice and then do the. Add. Oh, okay. Okay, got that uh, oh, damage. Oh. E A. Switch it up here at Murder Hobo Inc. It's fine. It's the normal way. It's the normal way. Sometimes we roll perceptions. Sometimes we roll well, investigation. It was uh, <laughs> seven <laughs> piercing damage. Uh, close. Uh, next up is the dew. Are there any more zombies coming out of the tower? Perception. Bless you. Uh, okay. Ten. Uh, you don't see any cones. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and hack away at my zombie at the moment. Um, so 17 and a 26, I assume, will hit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Three. Uh, sh oh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, 17 to the zombie. Good enough. Perpetual? No, oh, he's uh, dead? Can I get a... Can I get a no. Uh, rough get estimate of how far fire is for me? Yeah, eight, ten feet. Okay, so... And nobody nobody in the party or the zombies are in jeopardy of it. Okay, so it's it's not an immediate threat. Okay. Uh, and it, it seems to be going out if you want to check. No, no I, I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get enveloped. No, uh, all, okay. Everybody here is safe from it. Okay. Including your uh, ones. <clears throat> you don't know if you don't ask. Yep. Uh, so this one's in melee now, so I'm going to just start hacking at it with my daggers then. Cool. So that is a... Okay, that is plus eight, so that is a 13 and a 15. Dead. Oh, that's to hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, dead. Perpetual or er, Terran, you're up. Um, hmm, actually, all right. So as an act, I'm gonna. I'm in. I'm in melee, so I gotta. I gotta go melee. Uh, I'm gonna basically drop my crossbow at my feet and pull my rapier. And I'm gonna. I roll a d20 for dropping your uh, crossbow. Oh, uh, it's not misfires. Fun. I say it's not loaded, I don't think. Well, seven. You might break the string. <laughs> okay, awesome. go ahead and hit him. All right, so. Oh, one uh, puts a bolt six, through her foot, she can only run around in circles. I'm pretty sure 16 hits. Yep. Uh, for, hey, that's a bet, eight points of damage. The previously one injured hit. one or the other one? The one I already hit before. Got it. Uh, my turn. Taryn. Uh, 17 and 15. 15 misses, 17 hit. Uh, two plus one is three. Dewey. Uh, 13 plus three, 16. Okay, top of the order. Lucas. Cool. Uh, Stop. Hammer time. Everybody, perception check. Uh, 17? 13. 15. <coughs> Do we? Perception. Lucas, you're the only one that hears the flap of leathery wings. You're up. Uh, unfortunately, I can't speak right now since I'm in elk form. So uh, this is great. You can, you can bellow. Oh great, Lucas is in heat again. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna charge the uh, zombie that's on Dewey. 
Okay. If you miss him, you're going into the fire. Oh, that's fine. I actually rolled a 19 to hit. Um, Piece of cake, you gore him. Uh, wait, is it dead already? I don't know. How much damage did you do? Oh, make? well, first roll a DC 14 deck save to see if it's knock prone. Uh, 13, and I think I'm minus. I'm minus two, so 11. So prone, cool. And it. I just did, uh, what's that? Seven plus four. 11 damage, bludgeoning. Hoof to the nuts, and you're to blame. Dead. Cool. My knees. I will take a shot at the same one again with my crossbow. Oh, come on. Not 20 again, really? I'm liking this dice. What? I think he's cheating over there. That's right, he's cheating. Cheating <laughs> with my light loaded ice cream if, dice. If you're, if you're cheating on the introductory fight, I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He just wants to survive the first 15 minutes. Um, so that's going to be... He wants to extend his streak. Isn't he really he... fragile or something? So maybe this is the only chance he'll get before he's unconscious. He's got bird bones. You said eight minis? Eight piercing damage. Uh, who were you going after? Cause the like one that was on uh, Blake. Oh, he's dead already. So he oh, was okay. real easy to shoot. <laughs> yeah, no, no, then whatever said, one would have been as la- You said the same as last time, and last time you went after the one on Dewey. He's uh, dead as well. That. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm going after whichever one is standing. Sorry. I, I, uh, I missed uh, that. Even is, okay, eight points of damage to Taryn's uninjured one. Fair enough. <laughs> Dewey, you're up. Um, Taryn's are still up, correct? I know we just clarified that. Yep. Okay. One's got 15, one's got 8 damage. Dewey, hop on my back and we'll charge in. <laughs> oh my god, awesome. Dewey, roll an animal or a dexterity check to see if you choke. Ernie, um, Ernie. Do, do it in character. Do it in character. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Lucas? You want me to hop on and we'll charge them? Can okay. In the well, to the well. <laughs> uh, I'll charge over to help out Taryn. Uh, I really- I really want Lucas to now become a big collie. Uh, 20s are the hit. First <laughs> one is eight on the eight damage one, if that's all right. Sure. How okay. much on the eight damage? Eight. Got it. The other one is 12 damage. To the 15? Yep. That one is dead. Uh, Perpetual, you are up. Uh... I would, mine, mine's dead. They seem to have that handled. I want to, I want to look at, I, I, I want to make a, per, I want to use my turn to check out, make sure there aren't any more coming. Fair enough. And that's a 16. You do not see anything. Okay. Uh, Taryn. All right, I'm gonna draw a dagger and then I'm gonna do two weapon fighting. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess a ten and misses, which is fine. That's the dagger. Uh, sixteen hits though, right? If I recall. Mm-hmm. All right, so the rapier hits for seven points of damage. Oh, that is also dead. Good. My turn. Dewey from behind. Oh no. Okay. Nat one and a 19 on the roll. Uh, the 19 will hit. Uh, doesn't really matter. They do the same amount of damage. Oh, but he, he does do max. Eight damage is year. Struck from behind with a bite in the uh, head by a gargoyle. Eight? Eight damage. Top of the order. (laughs) Nice. Um, Can I melee this gargoyle? Is it close enough? With antlers, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. All right. He's he's going to be slightly off the ground, so you won't be able to trample him. Oh, I'll I'll, I'll hit him with my antlers. I have a ram attack for that. We'll see. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Hell yeah. 
Uh, 2d6 plus 4 bludgeoning. So that is 9 plus 4, 13 bludgeoning, magic bludgeoning damage. Manis, uh, there seems to be a mess over in Dewey's area. Um, how many are still up? None. You want to shoot at them? <laughs> yeah, I'll shoot at Dewey. No. Um, did anybody loot corpses or check any of the bodies? Well, there's a gargoyle. Hey, shut there. up! No. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's right no. there. You know what? As a matter of fact, I think they're leaving that for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. I'll just wait around. Sure. I'm 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 uh, playing weary today. I can feel my my doom is coming, so I'm just gonna stand back, wait wait to see what the group does. <laughs> Uh, uh, Dewey, you're up. Once, once again, tw- uh, 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 chat on uh, Discord. People need it. <laughs> I, yeah, I uh, apparently Dewey got tea bagged. <laughs> I have, oh, and I have been scarred permanently. Go ahead, Dewey, you're up. You just got a face full of elf, elf dong, apparently. Well, I was going to go reckless, but now I'm just going to go a flat roll and hope I roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, too. Dewey Moyle Docamel. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll the oh. other one just to see if it <laughs> Did he roll a one? Did you freaking roll a one? Double ones. Or Double. is that a 20? No, that's a one. That is a very... <laughs> now, 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 any any modifications to you when you're in wild shape? I, I, I know if you die, you revert to your body, but what about like if you lose a leg? I was thinking a little higher know. than that. Double one, you I was, I was are now a shield. You're a shield, baby. <laughs> Are you, Am I? You, 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 you had a urinary tract stop up and they had to just cut it off like a cat. Frank. Do you want to turn him into a popsicle or do you want to snip his nuts off? Snip his nuts off. Uh, you're, ten. You're a she. And that is uh, before <laughs> or after uh, half damage. Ten. Frank, he's not. All right. Frank, what? he's a eunuch. Yeah. No, yeah. Uni, uni, eunuch is balls. Not a she. Yeah, yeah, eunuch that's right. is balls. Uni, eunuch's balls. Uh, Perpetual Europe. Alrighty. There is blood everywhere. <laughs> I, 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 I believe I'm getting like excited and happy seeing all the rivers of gore. That's, that's going to uh, come out of this. Like scary. <laughs> <laughs> They're called breasts, mother, and everyone has them. Uh, Lucas, you'll uh, be at disadvantage on your next attack. By the way. You think okay. so? <laughs> but doing so, I, I I am going to start throwing at the gargoyle. Okay. Uh, I I'm like I got your brother's fucking wings right here. I'll get you to you cocksucker. Uh, and both of those are going to miss, but not critically. Okay. Uh, Taryn. All right. Well, I'm gonna basically for I want to scoop up my crossbow. And if worse comes to worse, I'll drop one of my weapons on the floor. So these shouldn't break or hit anybody. And I'm going to shoot it. Okay. And it's magical. So I don't know if that matters. Hey, that looks like that looks like an at 20 to me. So what the hell is It's 1d8. Yep, it's 1d8. So I need 2d8s. Wow. Well. All right, so that's eight plus and you don't double the modifier so it's 12 points of damage to the gargoyle ah fair enough (coughs) uh the gargoyle bites at taryn and claws at dewey dewey's green taryn's brown uh top of the order lucas unless a seven and a ten hit you guys no uh, so how many are left? Just, Just two on Terran? Oh, one on Terran? Uh, All right, I'll try and attack. Only the gargoyles. Oh, the gargoyles. Yeah, the gargoyles. Oh, the gargoyle. <laughs> what am I thinking? Uh, sorry, I'm a little disoriented right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll try and hit it with my horns again. See how this goes. Damage. 
Disadvantage? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a <laughs> 18 plus 7 or a 10 plus 7, so 17. Both hit. All right. Woo! Uh, I was hoping for a 1. Yeah, 8 magic bludgeoning damage. Not so Not so hot. No, if you, if you had rolled a run, you would have hit your dick on the ground. Uh, Maniz! He would, his have, head. Uh, he would have <laughs> kicked his balls across the courtyard. Maniz, you're up. Uh, seeing poor Ernie, or Lucas, castrated, turned to <laughs> eunuch, yeah. I run with great concern, grabbing the severed member and using... <laughs> Mending, using, mending. <laughs> using cure wounds, I touch. <laughs> wow! I touch the area, and I do it at level. How much damage did he take? Or should well, I mean and ballpark? Yeah. Pretend it. Just it's please like, tuck them right back into the sack and heal that up. I'll go. I'll go take, level take two. Take the sewing needle out of your mouth. <laughs> so. Frank and Elk, Frank and Elk. Uh, that they, they're just going to decay in there. It's going to smell terrible. And they're going to, you're going to, oh, oh. It's going to be tough. Thir- 13, 13. Oh, I'm, back. Back. I'm back, baby. Lucas, uh, Maniz helps you out. <laughs> what, what a magical Europe. feeling. <laughs> well, thank that's you, why thank it's you, the mature audiences. It, it, it's almost as though you had cured disease, Gaston. <laughs> Uh, does a 15... Uh-huh. 15 does hit. Okay, and I'm going to assume the natural 20 hits. <laughs> no, the natural 20 does fail. Okay, uh, that was Lucas reckless, though, so... Sack. Reckless, so you get advantage against me next time you come swinging at me. Yep. Okay, 11, um, 15, and 11. So 26 total? 26. Nice. Perpetua. Uh, seeing as I missed when I was at distance, I'm gonna close the range and try and do the do the do the corsair just like with 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 with, with what I'm sure is my six inch vertical. Uh, try and stab into it and drag yeah. and fall down. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it does, Lucas. Uh, that is a net 20. And my, it's only a dagger, though, so it's shit. It's shit, but... D4. Is yeah. it a magical dagger? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's my returning dagger, but I'm using it in my hand. Gotcha. Uh, so that's... Do, 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 do. Oh, wrong, that's under actions. So that's... That's seven plus five, 12. Okay. And I am going to uh, I will take the opportunity to quicken a magic missile at this thing as well. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be uh, three of those. Three, seven, ten, thirteen uh, from the magic, mi- all of the magic missiles. Taryn, kill it. All right, I'm going to try to shoot it again. Come on. Oh, that'll hit. That's uh, like a 20. Dead. Yeah, 20. Okay, yeah. Was it like one hit point? Two hit points. I, I would have done nine, so. Oh. Uh... With a gurgle and a bubble on its lips, the gargoyle falls prone to the ground. Uh, Wings. If anybody wants to take a look, the fire is out. Uh, Go ahead and roll your animal handling. Uh, 14 plus infinity. Okay. Uh, You fuck them up. So uh, that is all for the courtyard here. Uh, Lucas did go into the tower, uh, but he wasn't in long enough to look around. No, I was not. Um, 
Can my own walked in, fit? turned around, and said, "Oh, Taryn, there's somebody here for you." Uh, what? Actually, is the doorway big enough for my elk form, my giant elk form? How big are you? I'm I'm <laughs> giant elk size. I do not know. Uh, picture picture a caribou. Yeah. 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 I I will say roll a d twenty. All right. <laughs> Ten. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll have to weasel it in. How about we check out the other courtyard? I start lumbering up that ramp. Sir. Okay. I can trim up your horns for you. I would prefer not. Brandish the chest. Which horn? <laughs> oh, no, I, I was picturing the magical Dremel. You could do some scrimshaw. Ooh. Ooh oh, I that's for afterwards. <laughs> nice touch. Uh, so, Lucas as, goes... As I'm wrapping up, I'll, I'll, I'll follow in suit. Okay, Maniz, you're up. I'll follow then. Uh, Dewey? I'll look in the tower real quick before I follow them. <laughs> and Taryn. Yeah, I'll go with them. With. Go with who? Uh, you got where are the majorities going, I guess. Oh, oh, uh, oh tower and there's... To the and they're second going up the ramp. Right. Taryn, there is a map. I know. I know <laughs> there's a map. Um, I, I'll go with Dewey. I'll look at the tower. So, so like I said, I'm just going to peek in left, right, no dead zombies. Walk back over to the right. right. I'm not right. spending I'm, time. I'm just sticking with you. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to peek into. Do you want to tell her what you see? There are stairs going down. All right. Well, that seems could... ominous. That seems like where we need to go eventually. It's yeah, let's go check it out. We found the oubliette. Not now, do we? Split the party. Split the party. <laughs> Dewey, you know what happened when there was only two of you here before? We don't want a repeat of that, right? So let's stick with the party. <laughs> These spiders are all dead. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're dead. That's good. How about Hold on. Taren, Taren and Dewey ride the back of the elk, yes, and Perpetua gets carried by my knees. And... <laughs> uh, absolutely right. Uh, so Dewey and Taren, are you going down the stairs, or are you going to go back no. up? We'll go follow the elk. Okay, you guys go up into the big courtyard. Uh, there are uh, very, very old corpses here. I mean, barely <laughs> skeletal remains. Uh, I will take an investigation check. Um, and I will take a dex check from Taryn and Dewey. Oh, <laughs> Fine. That's going to I'm doing that first because I saw what that note was. Uh, that's a 24 <laughs> on the dex check. So I avoid the shit that Lucas just put down. Do we? Investigation? investigation. 23. Investigation. 20. Uh, 24. Okay. Uh, all of you noticed that there appear to be Three dead gnolls mixed among the dead. Uh, the dead here are long dead. The gnolls, eh, not so much. I wonder why they came here. They probably wanted to come into the courtyard and take a shit like Lucas. <laughs> uh, I, I want you're... to make sure they're dead, so I go around and stomp on all their heads with my hooves. Fair enough. Uh, as you can see from your map, uh, there's stairs leading up to the uh, gangplank that connect the towers. There's also a smaller courtyard to the north. All together, you guys are going to find uh, 26 bodies here. Are they? Wow. Well, are are those? Did this? Can I get an investigation to determine the if if they're more humanoid than Nolish for the skeletal remains? Oh, they're human. Oh, they are? Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of want to turn to turn to the cleric and say, you want to see what happened here? No, um, he's not interested. I, <laughs> I, I don't know if you can speak to undead if all their heads are crushed in. If, if, if you have a jaw on a skull, you can. Uh, I mean, I'm stomping all their heads with my hooves. That's uh... let me let me check my spells. Oh. I think I have that one, don't I? Are there any weapons on the freshly dead gnolls? 
Yes. That aren't broken? Yes. Mostly okay. maces. Maces. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's not I a bad thing. Each have mace has a little hash or two in the handle. Kills. Okay. Oh, wait. I have animate dead. Oh, you're a necromancer. Kill the necromancer. <laughs> uh, I, I will make sure not to With stump pleasure. on every single head. <laughs> How does that make sense? <laughs> I can destroy the undead, or I can reanimate the undead. <laughs> well, no, well, no. The, 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 the whole concept of it is is about the balance between life and death. Fair enough. What's in the uh, smaller courtyard? Uh, smaller courtyard, there appears to be a set of double doors. I rammed the double doors. Let's see. Yeah, oh, that was a 16 minute. to hit. You're still out not smashing shit. I'm still smashing stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind then. But when he comes by and tries to ram the double doors, I'd like to trip him. Trip and help? But so he does go through. <laughs> Uh, you, how uh, how do you trip yeah. a giant elk <laughs> gnome? <laughs> Throw your body in front of me and oh, try hello. to get trampled? You're just the size of a caribou. You can fit through a small doorway, apparently. I'm just going to take an axe and trip you real good. Oh. Aren't you friends? You think no. Friendly you things, friendly yeah. Rivalry. Uh, friendly. friendly. Okay. So Lucas, bored with smashing in skulls, moves over to the small courtyard. Maniz, are you animating dead? No, no. Perpetual, <laughs> what are you doing? I would like to scout. Is this area also heavily overgrown? Oh, yeah. I want to kind of just be checking around in areas to make sure that there's not anything else that we're missing. Uh, a lot of broken weapons, uh, several, several decades old. Okay, uh, thin null skin. Your know what? Thin null skin. Okay, uh, there's three of them. Uh, Taryn, what are you doing? Um, I don't know, just watching the spectacle that is this group. <laughs> Dewey, you found the double doors first. Uh, mm -hmm. You see Lucas coming around the corner. Did you want to hold out a red cape and have him crash through the doors, <laughs> or what do you want to do? Well, like I said, red cape to trip him, and so he goes crashing through the front doors. I was planning on crashing through the front doors. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Front doors. Um, I will mention, it, but I don't think it has been mentioned, about the stairs going down uh, in the tower. But Lucas, charge the doors. <laughs> but charge, charge the doors. <laughs> I want to explore this place. 23 to hit the doors. Uh, give me a dex save. A dex save? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what does Elk have? Plus three dex. 13. Dewey, give me a straight up d20 roll. Okay. <coughs> Five. Uh, Lucas's gallop takes him up and over your spear battle axe trip move. And uh -huh. Lucas hits the door. <laughs> How much damage? I hit, I hit the door for... 15 bludgeoning uh, magic. Give me, an, give me another dex check to make sure that you don't slide in. Uh, 12. Uh, you crash through the doors, splintering the old wood everywhere, and it appears as though you have opened up the doors to the Great Hall. Yay! Are there undead in here? No. Is there anything else moving? The banners. The tattered banners up at the top. Oh, nice. Um, well, that loud crashing noise probably let the party know where I'm at. Oh, yeah, and Dewey watched well, you. Yeah. I think we're all pretty much there, or at least three of us are right there. Uh, Maniz and Perpetua, uh, you hear a loud crash reverberate from the north. <laughs> so, Maniz, what do you want to do? From the north. Is that where Lucas and them went? Yep. I'll head towards there, towards All the right. noise. Uh, on. So many, so many knolls to skin so little time. I'll head that way too. Okay. Uh, everybody is now there. Uh, Perpetual, what are you, or I'm sorry, Taryn, what are you doing? There's a gaping hole in the, what used to be doors, and it's giant elk shaped. And its name is Susan. 
I was going to say, he is, he's, uh, so the giant elk shape is already in that other room, right? So I'm going to go follow him in. And we, see what he Are you going to trip her too? Can I? No. Yeah, uh, no. I, I like her, despite the fact that she's a cold-blooded murderer. What? So I many, so many, so many dwarves. So many dwarves. <laughs> I was thinking Cola's friend. Oh, Possibly Cola, because no one's seen her. But, but if memory serves, you and I were the only ones that didn't kill minors. Actually, That's true. Dewey, you saw her take off, so... At least yeah, you, you saw her head... Uh, you you and Lucas both no, saw her head off. That was, that was the last time we saw her. Shame. So, no. Okay. So are you go. going into Dewey? Yes. Um, and he's in Perpetua... You round the corner of that wall and you see everybody going in. And there's it, it, there's no no other areas for, for that set. I, I, I kind of want to, after we've gotten in here, I want to kind of just make sure that that sound hasn't attracted something from elsewhere. So I would kind of do want to stay behind for a second just to just to in the small courtyard guard guard the six. That, that, that was my intent was to alert everything so we didn't need to search for it. Okay. Right. So are you so are you staying outside the great hall or going in? I, I'll I'll I'll, I'll I, I want to stay. I, so okay, facing into the room is twelve. I want to guard the six. But I, I'll, I'll the six is I'll, a wall. I, no, I said if entering the room is twelve, I'm guarding. Oh, six. okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Maniz, did you want to go in? Um. Yeah, I'll stay back with uh, Perpetua, kind of same thing. Keep Not necessarily up. blocking the en entrance or exit, but just, <laughs> just, just. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn basically two turns here, making sure that there wasn't something coming. Perception, yeah. Per perception, Perpetua, perception, the knees. Ah, uh, quick, bar the doors. Whoops. I see absolutely a thing flies in my eye. Listen, I got a one. Oh, mine was uh, 19. Uh, you hear either a low whistle or a low moan coming from the exterior tower. You can't tell if it's a whistle or a moan. Okay. So, so again, using my entering the front door is 12. It would be your final. <coughs> okay. Well within your view. Okay. Uh, I, I'll, 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 I'll hush my knees and try and see if I can't determine. My eye, time. my eye. See, see if next time I listen for it again. Lucas, Dewey, and Taryn. Uh, this is clearly the Great Hall. There's a big fucking table in the middle. There's skeletons all over the place uh, in various states of agony. Some have been pinned down to the table with either a dagger or a sword. Uh, there's tattered banners that hang from the ceiling timbers and a shitty piece of armor up at the 12 on a small pedestal kind of overlooking the banquet hall if and I there's investigate, also doors on the right if i investigate the armor does it have anything resembling that piece of rod that we're That's looking for just a shitty piece of armor oh, okay I'll knock it over just in case. Fair enough. Might as well make more noise. There is a door at <laughs> the the nine or the three o'clock. I'll go and open that door up. Uh, it appears to be a kitchen area. Uh, there's a single door to the right, and then a hallway that extends down the left. I'll check the single door to the right that hasn't been opened yet. Okay. Appears to be a pantry. Okay. Roll initiative. <laughs> what? Roll initiative. Oh boy. Uh, fourteen. Fair enough. Uh, give me a DC fifteen, please. <laughs> DC fifteen, what? Wisdom. Ugh. It's the yeah. baby doll. <laughs> Except it's a corn husk doll. Oh. Goody, Proctor, Goody Proctor's coming after you. Version 19. So that's a, a 19 on the die. So it's a 19 wisdom save because I have zero modifier. You see an undulating mass in front of you. A what? 
undulating I'm, mass, like a like a writhing organic pile. Oh, like Cthulhu came to visit. <laughs> I, I think almost that's too defined for an undulating mass. <laughs> no, not <laughs> something from that. You know, something from that genre. Hey guys, there's something really creepy over here. Quick, run back behind me, and I hold my foot out the tripper. <laughs> I don't run back behind him. I take a couple steps away from the door, and I have my uh, crossbow. Can I? Can I? Can I message her what it is? Uh, you uh, can't see it yet because you no, have. I know, can, but can I? Can I? Instead of having to shout, can I message her and ask for some more details? Wait, wait, wait! No, before you do that, what kind of check is this? Uh, that's the transparency on a gelatinous cube. And now oh, a pseudopod okay. is going to reach out and touch you. I took, I took a couple steps back to try to get away from it. Right. 16 plus 4, dirty 20. That hits. Uh, so this is going to be bad. I you saw are the dead, 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 dead. We Lord didn't need a bard. Dead. Murder hobo, a 3 and a 2. So 11 damage and DC 12 versus Dex. All right, wait, 11 damage. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I did not make it. Shit, I rolled a 10. <laughs> she is engulfed. Yeah, I know where this goes. And takes 12 more damage, and she is. Uh, wait, do we pull her out? <laughs> Everybody else roll initiative, but only Dewey is in that room. Oh, for, wait, is my initiative? Oh, yeah, my initiative is still going, right? Yeah. My, okay. my initiative is also 18. Please? <laughs> 18. <laughs> wow. <Sorry. laughs> uh, Dewey. Uh, Rolled she's, a two fuck. She's just <laughs> yammering away. All of a sudden you see whoop <laughs> and she goes into the pantry. I don't, wasn't saying anything. I was just looking. You had turned around to say, hey guys, there's something here. Oh, whoop. there's a flatness cube. Yeah. That's what I said. That's not yammering. That's kind of important. Yeah. Uh Dewey, uh, you're the only one in the room at this time. Uh does it look like I can Shut reach the room? door? <laughs> <laughs> what? Does it look like I could pull her out? You're going to have to reach in. Oh, God. Just kill it. Murder it. These things have a shitload of hit points, too. I know, because it's got no armor class. It's like kidding Jello. Imagine that. I will rage, and then I will reach in to pull her out. Oh, God. Okay. Pain we lost two of the feeling. party. Uh, you need a DC 12 versus strength, and if you fail... Oh, no, don't. You're going in. 18 on the die, and uh, I'm the barbarian. Okay, does an 18 hit you, Taryn? Uh, an 18 will hit me, yeah. Uh, well, actually try and hit her now. I'll try to actually hit her. Yeah. Recklessly a... trying to hit her. Uh, that's 18. I'm gonna try okay, to... so you grab a hold of her. And give her a yank. Taryn, you DC 12 versus strength. DC 12 versus strength. Don't I want to fail this? I want you to fail. <laughs> <laughs> and the acid dissolves right through her wrist and she's handless. Nope. nope. Because I don't have, my strength is not great, so. Fair enough. Uh, Manise, oh, Lucas, and Perpetua, you've heard a lot of yelling. Uh, and there's a loud commotion of a raging barbarian in the other room. What would you like to do? I'll go check I, it out. I, yep, I, I will. I will give up my post and I will dash over there. Lucas uh, and uh, Perpetua, D12 roll off because only one of you is getting through that doorway first. Yep. Wait, D12 roll off. Uh, yep. Let's see. One. That's okay. I don't want to be first. <laughs> uh, Perpetua, you hit the doorway and you see Dewey's got his arm wrapped around 
Terran's leg, but the suction on it is too much for even the raging barbarian to pull. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking try this because even though I dashed, I'm gonna quicken. And I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do because, uh, but I need a wisdom. Yeah, you, you are gonna tell me what you're gonna no, do I, on the I, DM. I need, I need a wisdom 16. Okay. Uh, 18, but I think minus two, 16. What okay. wasn't gonna happen? It's not polymorph. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Taryn, take. Bad guys. No, uh, no, that's that's not bad. Seven damage this time, and I will try. Yeah, and... so good, guys, I'm in under. I'm in single digits. Oh, well, that uh, sucks. And you will, you'll Better? get a chance to break free. I'm gonna see if I can hit. Dewey. No, sorry. not twenty, Dewey. Yeah, uh, that'll hit. Uh, murder five two, uh, thirteen damage. DC Is it? DC twelve oh. Dex for you, so you don't get sucked in. DC twelve for Terran to get yanked out. Good. And um, the damage is what kind? Uh, all acid. All bludgeoning. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It is acid. It's all acid. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the total? One more time, please. Uh, six, five, seven, uh, thirteen. Taryn, did you make this one? Oh wait, what is it? A DC twelve? What? Strength. Yeah, I wish it was Dex. Come on, you. King. Oh, I did! That's a 13 and dice, so that's a 14. So Taryn grabs a hold of Dewey's uh, wrist that's holding on to her as he takes one to the jawline and manages to plop <laughs> herself out onto the thing looking like uh, the kid from Poltergeist. Uh, new round, uh, the 18s go, so Dewey and Perpetual can go. So was I, did I just not get an action because I couldn't get into the room, or? Correct, you will get an action this round. Okay. Well, I didn't need to enter the room to see, as long as I had line of sight. No, it's behind the door. Okay, okay. So, yeah. and, and actually, Lucas, you know what? You had an 18, I'll give you an action. Uh, you won't be able to do melee because there's too much in front of you. Oh, and you're an elk, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Unless yeah. you can cast I'll, a spell. I'll, uh, I, I uh, no, I can't well, cast I a spell. Can't. So I, I guess there was no action. I'll just look around and yeah. stay in the doorway for um, moral support. There's a hallway to your rear, if you want to keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. Okay, so Perpetua and Dewey, you guys are up. Uh, an 18 would hit. Oh, yeah, easily. You need a six to hit this fucking okay. <laughs> It's 20 slashing damage. Cool. Perpetua? Uh, let oh, me have no, to... actually, there's more damage. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, Perpetua, though. I always do more than that. I need a con save. Uh, 18 plus 5, 18, but minus... Oh, plus 5. Ooh, shit. Okay. So Dex so is the shitty so one. It saves, but it's still going to take damage. As sure. I I'm, I'm blighting it. Gotcha. And Dewey, were you reckless last time? Yes. Uh, uh, so reckless I again. But so. I would have hit you anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, 12 radiant and another four slashing on top of the original. Gotcha. Perpetual. It takes half of 57, which would be... 28, 25 plus, 25 plus 3 is 28. Nice. Necrotic. Gotcha. Uh, Taryn, D12 against me to see if you can do anything, otherwise you're puking out. I'm out. Good. So why wouldn't I be able to do anything? I'm mm -hmm. out of the spell. I'm out so of the... You pulled me out. Yeah, but you're on your knees. Well, yeah, you All can... I'm going to do cast friggin' Cure Wounds. Oh, sure, go ahead. Not really trying to do anything fancy. Here. If you if you're going to attack it, that's why. Because you're no, stood out. It's behind you, and you're on your knees. So yeah. You I've can, literally can, got oh. eight hit points right now. I'm casting a third level cure wound on myself. Mm. And uh, I am moving out of the out then, of the out of the way for Lucas. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where the hell is it? 
Sure, it's 3D84. So that's 50. That's 19 points back. Cool. And if anything, I'm going to crawl back a little further. Uh, the only one in range, I think, is Dewey. God, that sucks. Oh, uh, that's not going to hit. Uh, 11. Advantage. Roll twice. Take the oh, higher. That's right. Ew. Uh, nine plus four is 13. Still a miss, yeah. Okay. Uh, top of the order. Lucas, you notice the perpetual has moved off, but you still have Dewey in the way. Terran's crawling away. Manise, you are now in play if you want to look around the door and do anything. Uh, so I have three 18s. So Lucas, Perpetua, and Dewey, what would you guys like to do? Is anything coming down the hallway? Nope. Cool. I will keep watch. Recklessly attacking. I will, I will force a healing potion into Terran. Okay. <laughs> Rectally. <laughs> Do I, I only make them in suppository form? I don't carry glass. Oh, God. Am I aware of any of this? Um, there is a clusterfuck behind this door. Uh, Taryn's covered in slime. Blake is force feeding her a and potion. And Dewey is a rampaging anus. Dewey, uh, wait, Blake, do you, are you rolling the healing? Or yeah, it, it's it's going to be 2d8 plus 4. The ones. Uh, so that comes out to. Uh, so, what how all. Much? Go ahead, Manise. Blake, how when, much? I said 13. Thank you. When I. If I look. That's can I lot. look through the door? Or, or is there too much. <laughs> no, you're looking around the door and you can see it. Okay, so do I see what they are fighting? Oh, yeah, that thing's jiggling all over the place. Okay, so what I will do yeah, I is I will... Doing use, your job for you, motherfucker. I will I will ca shoot with my crossbow, and then I'll do a bonus action after. Okay, do uh, how much damage? 13 radiant, 33 uh, slashing. So 46? Sure. Okay. So I assume that oh, yeah. a 21 hits. Oh, yeah. And that'll be, oh, my God, two piercing damage. It's oh, useless. Um, so what, and then for my bonus action, I will cast Shield of Faith. It, it's, it's, it, dead. it's dead. It's, it's dead. dead. Well, then I won't Stop do that. Stop killing the dead shit. <laughs> I didn't think it was dead. Sorry. I you, you were shooting as Dewey was slashing right through it. Hey, since you got spells oh, to burn, okay. heal. Hey, heal, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I could definitely use some healing. Uh, well, I will go over and cure wounds on... You know this fucker is like a uh, challenge two rating, right? <laughs> I know. I know. But... Wait, hold I'm on. Where's my pick? really good one? Where do you fight the bubbles? Hey, it's in the Terran. Jesus. It's just me. I mean, I'm not like Dewey, you know, the basically um, all damage. <laughs> no, I don't have all damage, just the, the just bad the kind. How many people need the damage? Health. I'm, I'm at full health. I'm all set. It's I think Dewey's the only one that probably mm -hmm. needs Okay. It. So that one's worthless to use. Let's go with Although I'm going to cast Prestidigitation on myself to clean up all the freaking slime. I'll cast Cure Wounds at level three. Karen, or Taryn looks like she was a star in a German film. No, those <laughs> so, uh, 15 health points. <laughs> I'm not dressed like you're a trash. Though. Bukaki is a, is a Japanese word. All right. <laughs> But the Germans perfected. Yeah, but I said I cast president. Well, the Germans perfected stuff. many things, but Bukaki yeah. isn't one of them. They keep <laughs> screaming out, France, France. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, the good news is Luca, Lucas is keeping an eye out for you guys. Uh, and there is nothing in the Great Hall or down the hallway. So, hey, hey. he's not a dick tonight. Hey, wait, since it's dead, is there anything in that pantry, or was that it? Oh, somebody wants to ask a question. There was... is an old copper key in there. Ooh. 
Oh, cool. So I'll take the old the copper king. We hit real close to you guys missing that one. No, I no, I know usually when there's something like that nasty, there's probably something in there that's I good. Bet it is just pristine. <laughs> you know what? It should have dissolved, but it didn't. I don't oh. use keys. Wait, it was in the it was actually in the <laughs> it, 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 cube filled the entire so, pantry. It, it's probably magical, which is why he's saying that. If I have like 10, if you guys give me 10 minutes, I can do detect magic as a uh, ritual. You mean identify magic? Identify. Or... No, no, detect. Well, I can see if it's magic, if it's a magic key. No, detect. I identify should be a ritual too. I have detect I magic. Hold on. It's a ritual spell. I only have detect magic as a ritual spell. Oh, yeah. Concentration for up to 10 minutes. But it's up to you guys what you want to do, but I found this key. Hey. I'll keep look out. Well, instead of wasting instead of wasting time necessarily right now, let's let's wait until we find a keyhole. That's true. Oh. Huh. Smart. I store the key away anyways. Let's go then. Okay. Where are we going? Up on my back. We shall go. Yeah. This will be fun. So I do. I hop out. Let's see. I hop in your back with Hopefully, style and flair. Uh, yeah, I, I will. Uh, I will make it as easy as possible. I won't move. Okay, cool, fine. All right. So, of course, not that I understand you because you're asking like. Oh. <laughs> well, what's your acrobatics check? Let's see if you can put your head up his ass, just like the elephant. <laughs> oh God. Uh, though that's a that's a fourteen. Yeah, you you make it up on his back without a problem. Cool. One of my, I think I'm a bard. I get, I got a few skills. I give a moan of happiness. Oh. <laughs> Bingo! I can't German, look. say it in German. <laughs> Bingo! Bingo. <laughs> Hit him on the neck. All right, let's go. That's not Ooh. his neck. Hit him are, on are you going down the hall? That's his other neck. Yes, I will go down the hall. Uh, you make it about three quarters of the way down and the hallway turns to the right. Uh, it's filled with rubble and it appears to be uh, limbs from gnolls. There's also a door on the north wall. That's I will walk over in front of the door. <coughs> you are, the door is here, you're looking this way. And all the rubble is in front of you, and the corridor takes a jog to the right. Uh, well, I, I will stay at the door, hoping that Taryn gets the hint to do something with the door. Yeah, sure. We get to the door, you stand there, I'll uh, reach over your head, and I will try to open the door. Door's locked. Ooh, luckily you got a key. Does it look like this key? No. no, I got. I like. I look at the key and look at them. Like, nope, that's not the same key. Does anybody? Do you have anybody that picks lock? Do I have to? Yes, lock. Do we spend some time in prison? Well, divergent persona, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, yes, who is capable of picking locks, Carlin? Uh, can, can I kick the door with my hooves? With my hoof attack on it? No, 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 no. Wait, yeah, Taryn's on my back. Yeah. I can cop off if you're gonna do that. Like you start. Right oh no no, it's all right. I uh, I go for the door. Okay. That was a that was a 19 to hit the door. Uh, 19 to hit the door is successful. Terry, give me a dex check so that his ass rises and doesn't uh, pitch you into the wall. I'm pretty sure that wall. That's a uh, 19. She hugs your neck closely. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> How much damage? Uh, well, it's 48 plus four. So give me one moment. You probably shattered that shit. Uh, that is 23 magic bludgeoning. Oh, yeah, that, that just shatters the shit out of it, sending wood shards into the room. Cool. What's in there? Darkness. Yeah, what do we see? What? Darkness. Darkness? What, what do I see within the darkness? Oh, my old friend. That is uh, giant elk have dark vision? I've I have dark vision. vision. Does what giant else? elk form have dark vision? Yes, I retain dark vision. Okay. Uh, so everybody who can see 
sees that this is some kind of study. Oh. At one point Ooh. in time, it looks like it was rather lavish. I can't light yeah, in I go in and start looking around. Uh, there is a door on the wall to the west. Uh, Do we? Do we want light? Everybody investigate roll, please. Investigation. 22. Uh, 23. 11. <laughs> Dirty 20. Perpetual? 19. Uh, let's go with the 20s. I know there's some books in here. Damn skibby. Oh, there's quite a few books in here. Uh, okay, first one, Lucas, uh, you find, well, you're a fucking giant elk. I know, I see the book. I yeah. just can't grab it. Uh, <laughs> the, the book is entitled Agents with Vigor. Agents uh, with Vigor. Yes. Dewey, Agents with you vigor. find cats and companions. Uh, Tara, <laughs> you find guardians and hunters. And Perpetua, you find a missive to my dearest Elise. Oh, uh, is this a follow-up to the to the dirty letter I found on the messenger? It is not. <laughs> this is very uh, old. Yeah. I I, uh, I I nuzzle the book, hoping to get someone's attention so they can grab it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Book it. Book not for fucking. Ah, ah, ah. I, can I can I grab the book with my mouth and then like pull it off the shelf or the whatever? It's very old. I just I, start I, shrieking. No, no, no! And I grab the book for him. Okay, okay, sounds good. I will I will let that happen. So you have agents with vigor and cats and companions. Yep. Karen has guardians and hunters. Uh, perpetually, agents. you have the love note to the, his dearest Elise. And I want to random books too. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Indiscriminate, no binding. I'm not gonna. Uh, there's probably uh, tactics of uh, Attila the Hungry in there somewhere. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfectly fine. I, I would just like to have them in my possession because I know someone will probably trade things for books if I need them. Maniz, you find uh, the door on the other wall, uh, and it appears to be slightly open. Ooh, do you need Did help you notice... opening that? Spider webs are all the way down the slight open. Lucas, through the door. Come on, boy. <coughs> R really? You want me through the door? I will go through the door. This door is a it's lot smaller, back. by the way. Uh, back uh, oh. Here. Also, I realized that my uh, there's a size for the giant elk, and it says huge. I don't know oh, if that means anything. <laughs> yeah, you aren't making it through that door. Now, now okay. by, small, by smaller, do you mean me size, or...? No, uh, leaf human. Okay. Oh, well, all right, then I'm not riding around on him. I am not making it through that door, guys. I can't say this. Well, I am saying this, but you aren't <laughs> understanding me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, I don't think he's going to fit through the door. Oh, hold on. Do I not have... Does anybody have... Um... Do I, don't have spell? I don't Shrink have him. Shrink his ass. <laughs> Shrink the giant. I was thinking of my Tony. other character. Different character. I thought I had uh, Mage Hand. I do not have Mage Hand. <laughs> I'm just, just the door open. The books. Uh, yeah, the door opens and the spider webs tear across. Oh, uh, spider webs. It, it appears as though, Maniz, you have found a bedroom. Ooh. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> All right, I'll walk away from the door and stay in the room where everyone is. Okay. Seems to be a bedroom over there. If anybody wants to take a look, I'm not going in there. I'll take a look. Oh, I'll, I'm fucking going in there. Oh, come look. It's a bedroom. Uh, any l bookcases? Bedside stands? Yeah. Chocolate else? on the pillow? Who was, who was my there a monster address? under the bed? Who, who did the sign off on that letter, Frank? Uh, it was unfinished. Okay. Oh, no. What's that? Is there blood on it? No. The scrawls off. Ah! There's, a, there's, there's yeah, a lot of right. scratch outs. This, this was a draft. It was, it, well, 
from the way it reads, he was interrupted. Oh, okay. Or hey. she. I, I'm not. I'm not casting any aspersions either way. The writer. The writer uh, appears to be uh, interrupted. There. How, how, All how, three of you have your how books. Elegant is, how, how elegant is the script? It's okay. It's not flowery. So inside the bedroom, I'll take uh, D20 investigations. Okay, hang on. Uh, 24. Oh, uh, 23. 18. Know your place, Taryn. <laughs> uh, Maniz, are you going in yeah, or staying out with Lucas? Works with you. I'm going to stay out with Lucas. Fair enough. Do you find an iron chest? Okay, keyhole. Mm -hmm. I nod over to Taryn. Does it match this keys? I don't know. Just bring check. the key over. We're gonna put ask it in there. Question for every Just stick it in. But, but no, seriously. in the bedroom, I need you to stick your key in, please. Ser seriously, though, just stick it in. Quarter turn. I'm gonna try to stick it in because that was. I, a I, I, hang on, I, I wrote up Carlin to have proficiency with. Thieves tools. Who is Carlin? Carlin is the kid that I've been turning into. When I assume a new personality, I give them one proficiency. It's my it's my divergent persona trait. That's how Perpetua knows how to create healing potions. Okay. Do you, you want me to, I, hate, I hate changes. Do you want me to detect traps? Nah, don't go for it. Okay, then never mind. Just, just yeah, put never the mind. key in. Go ahead. Taryn, you're putting the key in? Yeah, I'll see if the key fits in this. Yep, fits in the lock. Ooh. Ooh. All right, turn it. It does not turn. Turn harder, <laughs> break it. Maybe it wasn't locked. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop. Use your foot. Kick no. it. Kick it open. <laughs> I don't try it that hard. If it doesn't turn, I'm like, I'll pull it and say, does <laughs> Now I can open shit from the side. <laughs> uh, yeah, it fits in the lock, but it does not open it. Does there appear to be a, a necessary another keyhole or anything like that? Or perhaps any magic sigils, an arcana check? No, it actually looks like a very rough iron bound uh, trunk, like uh, something a paymaster might use. Uh, have you tried opening it at all? Like, is it even locked? I'll try to just open it. Yeah, it's it. locked. Good thought, though. It's it locked. Pass WD-40. Bring it out here. I'll break it open. Careful. And unleash a new evil on yeah. the world. Hey, Taryn, go get some of that slime and uh, <laughs> stuff it into the hole. Taryn, yeah. go get slime and stuff it. <laughs> Somehow on the inside, there's there's this little dislodged gem. It's, it's, it's jade. It has the, the number seven on it. it it's, oh, shit. So the, it, it fits the keyhole, but, uh, you know. It doesn't turn. So, yeah, I, I know it's because there are plenty of keys that will fit keyholes that, that don't actually work in. Um, <coughs> I don't have thieves' tools. I'm not really a thief, so. Pull out thieves' tools. Freaking open it. <laughs> Somebody can't. <laughs> Dewey did take a level in, in, in the He did. No, I don't think we want to hook. Can't get in here anyways. You're too big. Right, you bring it out. And Taryn tells Ernie that he's too big in the bedroom. <laughs> bring it to him. Never. I would never say that. No such thing. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and try and pick the chest lock. Okay, give it a shot. Okay. Oh, nope, 12. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Can you try again? I was going to say, if, if you didn't break him, I'd like a shot at it. He didn't Otherwise, break it. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll help him out as he tries to pick it as well. Like, okay, this is where I screwed up here. All, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Perpetua is about a foot taller, and she looks a little bit more rugged, but she's still wearing her little her little blue dress. Okay. And hey. So it, it hikes up and uh, Big Jim and the twins hangs out? Yeah, no, we've already established I look like the Metatron. Gotcha. Ken, 
Burglar Ken steps up to give it a shot. That's a 15. That's his advantage. Oh, okay. Oh, oh never mind. Advantage. Yeah, because I'm it, helping you. Yeah. Uh, no, no, we're going to roll the advantage, Frank. Okay, it's it's seven without. There we go. <laughs> so you hear a click, and you're pretty sure that the lock is open. I, I step back, and I turn back into Perpetua. I will open the chest, ready to take any damage. <laughs> it smells like There's that. There's a lot of coins, but they're all silver. Or are these lion marks? No, this is old currency. That's what I mean, lion marks. Sure. Oh, oh we've, we've just thrown out all the history because every 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 country country had like their own currency. Like I have like six different countries' currencies. This is Sedillus, old okay. old Sedillus, like uh, battle keep kind of Sedillus when it was still in operation. A lot of silver in there. Anything else? Digging through and checking the pockets. Give me an investigation. No pockets is just uh, twenty two. Oh, no yes, false there, there is something in there. I pull it out in the bedroom. Oh yeah, baby. It is a weird symbol. That is looks it an like that? L or an, a seven? Exactly. Exactly. What <laughs> else? What else have we seen that looks like that? Huh. Huh. No, no. What else have we seen? <laughs> I point it. What is this? You have seen the symbol that was on the on the onyx in the box. It is not. Oh. Uh, can I try to identify what the thing is? Religion. Religion. Ah, shit. Too bad my knees is in there. Yeah, seriously, I should have done that check. Um, if we have to, we know he knows. Is it related to magical, technological, or alchemical? Perchance, no, it's not. Oh, okay. well, actually, don't get me to do a religion check, medicine check is where it's at. Well, you're the cleric, <laughs> no clue. Yeah, well, no clue. Okay, and it too is made out of soul. What is my religion? I have a plus five to religion, I'll check. What is all this stuff with silver? Is there like, you know, lycanthropes or something? 23 religion. Still nothing. Uh, I will close the chest and drag it out, hook it up to the, uh, the battle dead, elk. The dead guy. The dead guy. <laughs> yes, I, I, will, uh, I will carry the iron chest until I revert form and then I'm just stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, only, it's only not yay big so it's not a very big box so you'll have plenty of room but the hallway is blocked with rubble and knoll appendages there's the, um, the any the, way to kind of squeeze enough rocks uh, to squeeze a little gnome through you can try but if it caves in further you're going to be crushed to that I'm willing to try is it, is it natural stone yeah, it's the ceiling and the second floor. Oh, oh okay. I'll, I'll let I'll let you do what you want, but I have an idea. Uh, what is the idea? Gaseous form? No, I was going to have Maximilian's earthen hand it make it move itself. Oh, well, that works. Yeah. Unless it collapses everything. Well, that's really. Right. If there's a potential second floor, then I'd rather go up to the second floor and see if it would be easier to get down through there through that. Sure. But it could also be uh, this is as much as you've seen, and you haven't found stairs up. Yeah. Did it look like it was more than one floor? I mean, Manis flew well, over. we're already underground. No, you guys are up. Oh. Yeah, oh. we went in the Great Hall, and we just took a, a hallway. You, you went up into the inner courtyard, around the corner. So oh, okay. from where you were... You're about 10 feet up. Oh, okay. We hadn't gone downstairs yet. Is that as high as this building seems to be? Or is there seem to be, does it seem like it should have been higher? Maniz uh, said Maniz flew over Maniz ahead. Maniz would have known that the second floor had collapsed. Okay, so. Every, everywhere? In this area. There's, there's still a few areas that you haven't. Done. I was going to say it might it might be easier to if we can find a way up to traverse it that way. Yeah. 
especially with knees. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? We'll keep checking and continuing well, through looking. We're at a dead end. Right? We're at a dead end. To say, if you yeah. want me to have this pile move itself, I can. I think. I mean, I suspect we probably can't go beyond this, but and to probably turn back and start heading towards the downstairs. Let me go outside and try and deduce if there should be anything beyond this. Does Alone? that make sense? Doesn't that make shit difference to me. No, I know. I'm, I'm asking everyone else. I'm like, does that does that make sense? Is that fair? Sure. Let's no. That makes sense happen. to me. Sure. Okay, okay, so once so, you go outside of the great hall, is he going alone? If I count no, the I'll go with him. That I'm taking, leaving. <clears throat> I will go with them as well. I should yeah. be to Stick together. go outside and follow the outline of this building and see if it goes, if it would go any further. Beniz, are you going out with everybody else? Yes, sir. Okay, as you go back down to the hallway, hit the kitchen where the gelatinous cube was, Walk into uh, the Great Hall. Everybody give me... Oh, it's the Banshee. It's the fucking Banshee. In that investigation. Investigation? 17. Oh, that rolled 24. Up. What Not check again, sir? Investigation. What was yours, Blake? Net one. 11. Uh, as Blake stormtroopers out through the Great Hall, Lucas and Dewey, you look up. The leathery wings that we were ignoring. Uh, yeah, that was the gargoyle. This room right? is twice as high as the kitchen. So the whole area that you are searching around should be the same height as the Great Hall. So you would deduce was, was the exterior roof, it wasn't it wasn't tiered roofing. No, it's not tiered. Oh, okay. so there's a second floor. Cool. There should be a second floor. Either that or they wasted a lot of materials when they built this place. Correct. Uh, do you want to stop <laughs> uh, Perpetua from going outside and say, hey, I've done the right, uh, per, fuck it. I've done geometry. Uh, there's something up here. Well, I'm still, uh, was that a stairwell up that we were at? No. Well, no, you, walk, you walked up the stairs like to the other courtyard. Beyond that like beyond that, if that would lead to another room. Where at? The cave-in. Where the cave-in is, I want to go outside and see if that should be basically a wall or if there would be another room beyond it. I know. Do you that, see that's your... why I'm trying to do it that way. Okay, do you see your map? Uh, yeah, I, I know, but Perpetua doesn't have a map. And so if I if I would have been able to ascertain that before, I, before going outside, then... Uh, no, player knowledge, character knowledge. Uh, as you go back through the dead bodies, past that tower, the first tower, you would see that, it, well, you rolled a natural one, but that was for something else. You would assume that at some point in time, maybe it connects with the tower in the back uh, left. Okay, so there should be something beyond the rubble. Should be. Yeah, okay. So then, yeah, we, we it, it would probably be worth it to clear it out. So as you guys walk all the way around, <laughs> you're back out in the main courtyard, <clears throat> you're deducing, you're scribbling, you're doing the math, and it's like, okay, the area you were in is about 10 feet higher than where you were at. So in theory, maybe there is an up and a down because it, the incline took you up. It's a tri-level. And perhaps maybe going into the tower would provide answers. I feel like we should go into the tower. I do but too. the murder hobo in back. me says waste more time. Yeah, I'll go back and go past it. <laughs> I want to, no, I'm dying to find out what's in that tower. Although I may be dying to find out. I so. may be dying. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving you another healing potion. <laughs> no, don't. I didn't expect you to give me one then either. I healed myself. I healed myself for quite a bit. You touched you yourself. A lot closer to the full, though. I the won't tower. heal anybody. So, what do you guys want to do? 
Uh, let's go check out the tower. Okay. Uh, well, if we can check out the the on the east, those two guard towers. <laughs> You Just take go, a quick second. You want to go back that way and check those out? Well, we're already outside. There? Well, actually, you're past the red dot. I know, but we're but we're outside. It's not like we would right. Have to go. So do you you want to cross back over? Yeah. So who who's going into the tower? No one. No one at this moment. Okay. We're, have we you decided guys are trying to decide that tower or the two towers on the right? And if if. Oh, the center tower, the two towers on the right. We walked all the way to the You walked uh, to the red left dot side. and just beyond. Okay. To, because just that beyond. is as okay. far as you made it in is the building. Is a small enough area? How is about what? you split up here briefly? I want to check out the guard hut, the, this, the tall square, or the short square building, while you guys are checking out the two entry towers. So you're splitting the party again. Because I, I can get wherever I, I have you, my mobility, I can get there in a second. So, if you guys want to check out those two towers, I want to go check out this shortcut. That's fine, I guess. I mean, once you get sucked in by a gelatinous cube and you can't get out, then your mobility is going to mean I, shit. I will, I will blink out of there. I'm not worried about that. Okay. No, I'm not worried about it either. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and can you use verbal spells when you're stuck in a cube? Uh, Misty Step is somatic only. I'm, or no, I'm just going to do it verbal only. <laughs> I, will, I will swallow acid, but I will do it. There it is. There's him hiding behind the paper, giggling. Yeah, no, I'll swallow acid, but it doesn't fucking matter. I didn't think you could, so I was like looking through my spells going, verbal, nope, 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 nope. So Perpetua is going to go into the small square one, and everybody else is doing what? I will give, I will cast Shield of Faith on Perpetua and stay outside so do that I, I can stay maintain. Within a, do I have to stay within range of you? Uh, let's check the wording. A shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting it a plus two bonus AC for the duration, and it's up to 10 minutes. Okay. Concentration. In, in concentration. Okay. I, 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 I would... Before I would appreciate that, but I have shield the shield spell myself, so it might be better to do someone a little squishier. I'm pre I'm actually a little bit more tanky than I look. Okay, uh, who who would who else is going in there that would? The bees. <laughs> I don't think you can. Well, uh, well, I guess you can. Perpetua is Perpetua is going in by herself. Everybody else wants to go to the far right and check but out. I'm, but mine is a scouting mission. I'm not going to stick around and try and engage anything. Well, if he's doing that, then just the guard towers at the entries would probably be best. Yeah. That's where, that's, that way where, we're, that's where I thought you were going. I'm sorry. I thought we were still over in that courtyard over there. So, well, I, I, But I yeah, two entry to towers. Are, right, right, right. Yeah. So I'm happy checking out. I will check out the rightmost on the map. Uh, sucks for you guys watching Twitch. Uh, tower, and I will happily do so by myself because I'm a badass. Librarian. Stick with okay, you. So Noah Wiley's got nothing on me. So we're splitting the party again. So Taryn, Lucas, uh, what are you doing? Because Manise is hanging outside the square one. I'm following what? Dewey. Yeah, I want to follow Dewey too. Okay, so perpetuate. You approach the square tower. Uh, give me a strength check to make sure that you can push open the door. Uh, oh. Dewey, since you're first, you give me a strength check to see if you can push open your door because uh, the warp wood is going to kind of swell these things. Thirteen, eighteen. Both open the door grudgingly. Uh, perpetuate. Yours screeches loudly. Uh, inside both towers are dark. Uh, so you want to cast light. I I, I have I the angle of the dark vision, but I can also cast light. But I'm I'm trying to refrain from doing that unless necessary. On Dewey's, uh, it is filled with spider webs. Uh, on Perpetua's, there's a constant tink 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 noise. Where? Somewhere inside that 20 by 20 foot tower. Okay, but I, I, I have my dark vision. Mm -hmm. So is, it, is there an audible source of it? There's, there's no stirring? There's no stirring. It's just a 
tink, 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 at a regular like, interval. Almost like a leaky faucet. Mm, yeah, you could say that. And then you'll also see a door to the left. Does it get louder if I approach the door? Uh, D12. Uh, 11. Uh, no, it does not. Does it get quieter? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe a little fainter. It's 20 by 20 foot room, so. It's I know, like, but I, like, I, I, can, I can determine that something's, just sitting in my living room, I can determine if something's coming from the sink in, in the kitchen. <clears throat> you, you would think it would get a little bit quieter. Okay. Uh, can I press my ear to the door? Sure. And uh, give it, Dewey, are you going and, inside? And, and, and with my ear securely pressed to the door, I want to get a smell check. Okay. Dewey, are you going all the way in as well? Um, I'll light up a torch and start burning some cobwebs as I go in. No, no, room. just the tip, Frank. Cast <laughs> uh, okay. dancing light, so they'll have light inside at least. I'm looking more for the fire do, part. Do, do, no, do, no, do, that's do, fine. Do, do. I want both. I like both. Okay. Uh, Dewey, you enter Club Terran. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> anything white on you <laughs> just glows. Trash, look down. Uh, I will take initiative at disadvantage for Perpetua, initiative normal for Dewey. <laughs> what do we do? I'm surprised. Oh, shit. So, wait. So this one. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, I'm at a four total. My favorite monster of this campaign rapidly descends from the dark. Shall I add in this cube? No, what kicked our ass at the fucking. A Pegasus. Oh, the thing that wraps its wings around us. And... 30 20 on Perpetua. 20, dirty 22 on... Uh, Did you say net 20? Uh, no, 15 plus 5. Okay, then that's going to miss. I'm going to shield it. Okay. Uh, you don't know what's... Well, it's a reaction, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wait, were we rolling initiative 2? Nope. You're outside the doors. Not yet. Uh, and everything goes magically dark on both of you. Oh, ah. no. Hold on, stop. Uh, well, Dewey, only four, and you need a DC 13 to avoid being enveloped. Uh, DC oh, what? 13 strength. Strength. We're okay. Okay. Uh, now, you know, you both know that something has tried to attack you and attack you, uh, respectively. Uh, and I, I would assume that Dewey would not know it because he wasn't there in the tomb, but you were perpetual. Why is it dark for me if I'm not enveloped? Or is that something I don't... It, it projects magical darkness. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it's not the wrapping that does the darkness. Uh, so you guys can I will... hit it, but unless you are proficient in blind fighting, that's going to be a disadvantage. Okay. I'll go ahead and start swinging at whatever this thing happens to be. Taryn, walk in. <laughs> well, I mean, why wouldn't I if he's in trouble? Uh, As a will, 19 hit. 19 does hit. Taryn, you will know that there's magical darkness in there now because Dewey's light is gone. So is mine, because remember, I cast Dancing Lights. Yep. Does a 15 hit? Yep. Okay. I don't think I have like daylight or anything like that. Do 11 I? is all you need to hit these damn things. Okay. I can I tell where they? Can I tell where they are? Nope. Based on his, I can't. It's that dark. I can't even see him. Right. It's magical darkness. Oh. Uh, fifteen damage. Perpetua. Uh, give me one. Give me one second. Sure. <clears throat> because I have fairy fire, which is a twenty foot cube. Which mm -hmm. how big is this room? Uh, his is 30. Blake's is 20. I mean, I probably, I mean, I can hear the sounds of the fighting. Mm -hmm. So I just think my fire is going to work? 
I think it does. Hold on, let me clue you in. Let me take a... Do you think it's going to work? <laughs> well, I mean... Blake, what you got? <laughs> we, we've been against get these things before, haven't we? Yeah, you guys fought them in the tomb. Right. They, 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 didn't, they didn't radiate magical darkness then. Uh, you guys were well beyond that because I was kicking your ass. Okay. I could have killed you all, but... It, but but I guess my question is, this is an aura, not a spell? Because I want to counterspell it. Correct. It is It is a natural ability that they have. Okay, okay. That's, that, that's, that's what I was trying to say, if I would actually know the difference or not. Uh, you wouldn't, but I just told you, so now you do. Uh... Okay, well, if that's going to be the case, uh, then I am going to uh, need a con save. Okay. 16. Uh, no, that's uh, 8 plus 0. Okay. I'm sorry, that's 8 plus 1, 9. As I just from every part of me, just squirt poison, just fucking everywhere. Okay. Uh, it's going to take 17 plus 5, 22. Uh, give me a D8 as well. Okay. Two. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, new round, I will try and envelop you again. Uh, 16 plus 5 on Perpetual. And eight plus five on Dewey. And uh, okay. so with advantage, because I assume they can see in magical darkness, yes? Yes. We can't. They have advantage on us you are, anyway. You are correct. Uh, no good for Perpetua. Uh, same roll for you. Oh, what was that one again? 16 plus five, 21. 21 will hit. Shield, okay. shield again brings me to 24. Okay. Uh... Dewey takes six and give me another DC 13 strength. Okay. And we Taryn, I will let you do good. something if you want. You can't see shit in there. Hmm. I can't really. I can't really think of what to do other than I can't see Dewey. That's that's a problem. Charge. I say charge. Charge yeah. in. Weaponless. <laughs> uh, no. Um, the problem is I have to like be able to see pretty much everything. I can see clearly now. The rain. Three, Perpetua, hit me. All right. I'm gonna switch. Hit, hit, hit. Still disadvantage. I am recklessly swinging uh, in the dark. I love these things. This is half challenge. Oh, I, okay. yeah, I, I know. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to need my con save again for the time being. Oh, great. Uh, Eighteen plus one, nineteen. Okay, so nothing happens in that circumstance. Is that all you got? Yeah, I'm not. I, I can't come up with anything else at the moment. Do we? Uh, twenty-three damage. Uh, if it matters, it's a mix of bludgeoning and piercing. Doesn't matter. Magical darkness disappears. Your torchlight is there. Terran's uh, yeah, fiery fires that are not very dancing lights. Dance lights. Uh, perpetual. Seven plus five, so twelve. So oh, okay. you're up again. Uh, can I feel it breeze by me? If, um, effectively, effectively having an idea, not, not line of sight. I don't want line of sight, but I would get there's maybe something over on my left versus my right. No. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm wanting to. I'm wanting to. You're about to kill this thing, so. Yeah. I'll. Yeah. I'll just try and squirt it again. Okay. So con again. Uh, 13 plus 1, 14. Okay, so yeah, it's dead then. Okay. Uh, uh, it's going to take at least 7. It had 
three left. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, Dewey, Perpetual, you both have uh, manta, dead manta rays at your feet. You can now see. Taryn, you can see the manta ray. You were not with them in the tomb, so you may not know what that is. Uh, Lucas, you can look in and say, oh. What kind exactly. of to know what it is? It's a cloaker. Well, no, 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 it is not a cloaker. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a check is it to know what it is? You came from the city, you would have, I, you know what, I'll give you Arcana, but maybe 20. I was going to say, as the bard, she would hear stories. I, exactly. Um, and that's city. why. I have our kids. You're, you're in the city, so you hear all of the stories. Yep. And so rumors. Exactly. Was it at 22? Close. It's 25. So, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, I, I, I hang on. Reluctantly, I, I haul out the dagger. Got Why is it that I always have to fucking be skin and shit? Uh, you aren't going to get a skin off this unless it's a fillet knife because it's kind of, <laughs> it's very thin. We, we, we did steal all of the farberware, remember? <laughs> I know he sold it in fake. Ron, the Ron Popeil collection of all Anita silverware. <clears throat> so you guys have managed to check out a few areas. Uh, only found one area that leads down. Uh, so there's a lot more in Battle Keep than you thought. Each one of you three has the copy of your book. Uh, yep. that I sent. Lucas, you will not know the contents until you revert. Yeah, that makes um, sense. And you guys will need at least a long rest to go ahead and read it. A short rest will only allow you to skim the highlights. So I was able to determine my letter was interrupted. OK. So right, is, is that what we determined? Yes. Yeah. It, it was clear that there was more to be said, and it did not. So let's go in reverse order. Taryn, final thoughts. Oh, that was a ton of fun. Um, God, that was kept splitting the party, guys. We're going to friggin' kill ourselves if we keep doing well, it. Well, that's why I only even suggested was... thought we were just like next door to each other. Yeah, it was a calculated risk, but although I have seen even, uh, I've seen that go wrong too, where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to the next room, and then. Well, you saw it go wrong tonight. <laughs> I'm just going into the pantry. Don't worry. I mean, that, <laughs> uh, no, that was a cool. That was a cool fight. I'm like going, oh my god! And actually, I think the other, the other game I play, I think that thing is worse because it actually paralyzes you after it engulfs you. So it's like, well, thank God for that. That that's not part of um, the D and D version. Because that would have been real bad. And I was thinking, yeah, I probably can't use any spells with verbal. So I'm not positive, but it would make no, sense. You would not have. Uh, yeah. Kyle, so, final thoughts. Uh, I like Dungeons and Dragons, and I think Karen, Carol sucks for insulting it right there. Hey. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit right there. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's fun to be doing a dungeon crawl with everybody. And if I remember right, the only time splitting the party ended up being a bad thing was for Taryn herself. Everyone else was fine with it. What are the final thoughts? Who are that split? Like, I'm curious to see what would have, what your ruling would have been if I would have polymorphed it with Taryn inside. <laughs> I know. I'll think about that one. What were you going to polymorph it into? That's a mouse. A, good... a mouse? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I blow through it, yeah. Uh, I'd have to think about that. Uh, Ernest, final thoughts? Uh, I thought that was very fun. Uh, next time, I eventually want to find some magical item that lets me speak while in animal form. I think that would be ideal. Maybe someday. Yeah. A druid item. Uh, yeah. Chris, final thoughts? I was good. I'm uh, getting the hang of hanging back and <laughs> to stupid scenarios and dying. Hey, you went two hours without even coming close to dying. I mean, hey, I didn't even get hit. Say that, yeah. So yeah, that's fair. You uh, even healed once. Yeah, no, yeah. And, and you gave Blake uh, special powers, so you were helping. You just weren't, you know, on the danger zone. You even destroyed undead. Like you did what clerics do. Yeah, this is you, amazing. I yeah. know. Yay! I'm 
glad we got you back. Uh, yeah, you, you helped. You're a helper. Uh, folks, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this has been the campaign. We will pick it up again in two weeks uh, as they crawl through more of Battle Keep to maybe find out what Taryn's stupid ass copper magic uh, key goes to, or maybe not. Maybe she never figures it out. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to chat with us, uh, hit us up on Discord. If you want to buy our stuff, RPG swag. If you want to see on a show, either Tuesday night's talk show or one of our games, please hit us up. Uh, we'd love to have you and make fun of you because that's pretty much what we do. Tomorrow night we have another Boredom Buster D&D for shut-ins. Uh, it, but you know it's going to be Carol. So on Tuesday, hey. whoa, 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 hey! So come for Blake and myself. Come for Blake and my, and Kyle, but stay for uh, Scott and Heidi. Yeah, really. Because oh, Heidi, Heidi recognizes real DMing. <laughs> Well, we'll see about that. I've never actually DM fifth ed. Uh, you know what, Carol? I am probably going to be producing it, so I will do my very best to stay awake. So. And you'll do your best to actually make sure that we can all be heard. No. I was going to, and it's not because we're talking over Carol. That's because Frank fucks up the audio. Frank fucks up the audio. Uh, folks, let's uh, give them all a wave, tell them thanks, and we will see you tomorrow, folks. And wash your hands. Wash your hands. Is it